Yo, shout out to the guys over at Squarespace for sponsoring our Wi-Fi 6 testing. Hello, my name is Alex and welcome to TechFlow. More specifically, welcome back to another Wi-Fi 6 video. We recently, well before Christmas, did a video about the Netgear AX12 router, specifically diving into what Wi-Fi 6 actually is. So if you missed that, card up there, all links in description. Now one thing we didn't test was actual Wi-Fi range, throughput and or speed, mainly because it's difficult and kind of unscientific. I mean, heck, turning on your microwave oven can turn off your Wi-Fi, but for the sake of my own sanity and the sake of yours, I'd like to do some Wi-Fi 6 testing. So that's what this video is all about. <laughs> We're going to test the legacy first. So we're going to test 2.4 wireless N and wireless 5 gigahertz AC. So to do this on this Netgear router, we're going to go ahead on the iPad here, go into the router settings and disable AX, which is essentially Wi-Fi 6, which if we scroll down here, we can see that the 2.4 gigahertz network is running on wireless N and the 5 gigahertz network is running on wireless AC. Let's go down to the bottom here and click apply. Okay, so this is how we're gonna do this. We've got 2.4 gigahertz in the N band, we've got 5 gigahertz in the AC band, then we've also got 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi 6 and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi 6. So there's four different tests that we need to do in four different locations. The first location is a line of sight at 35 meters, the second is a line of sight at 70, and then we wanna go through some floors. So we've got one floor, and two floors. Let's get to testing. Okay, as well as my main fascination with Wi-Fi behind me wanting to test all of this, there's one really important reason as to why I want to test this, and it's actually the 2.4 gigahertz band. A lot of you guys will know that 2.4, especially in this day and age, is pretty much unusable, and everybody's using the shorter range 5 gigahertz that has far superior speed. But is Wi-Fi 6 actually going to save 2.4 gigahertz? Will Wi-Fi 6 make 2.4 gigahertz a viable option for people to actually use in their homes? for a little bit of extra range. Well, hopefully this video will tell us. I have positioned the router here for our first testing of line of sight. We're gonna go over the road, one test at 35 meters and one test at 70. And we've got a camera over there with a zoom lens on it for our testing. Let's get to this. Okay, so I'm currently stood opposite the office about 35 meters away connected to the 2.4 gigahertz network and I'm using an app called Wi-Fi Sweet Spots to measure the connection between me and the router. So it looks like we're getting, and I'm gonna hold the average here, about 52 megabits, 50 megabits, 48 megabits average on 2.4. Okay, now I'm gonna test the exact same, but on the five gigahertz network. Bear in mind, this isn't Wi-Fi 6. Let's click start and hold a record. What are we getting here? Okay, so now we are at around 70 meters. We're gonna test Wi-Fi 5 because that is what I've been last connected to. So let's see what we get here. Okay, so here we go. Non-Wi-Fi 6, 2.4 gigahertz speed test at around 70 meters. Let's click start and see what happens. Okay, we're averaging out at 71.7. Ah, interesting. So we are now one floor below our router, which is up there, and we're gonna do our 2.4 non-Wi-Fi 6 test, 191 megabits per second on 2.4. Now I'm gonna go ahead and test the five gig network non-Wi-Fi 6, one floor below, and it looks like we're pulling. Wow, now this is impressive. We're getting 735 megabits per second. Okay, two floors below 2.4 gigahertz, we're getting around 91 megabits per second. And now five gigahertz, two floors below, we're getting 552.9 megabits. Okay, now essentially we go and rinse and repeat all of these tests, but we have to go and tick one thing in our router settings. Enable Wi-Fi AX for 2.4, and it's also gonna enable Wi-Fi AX for five gigahertz too. So let's go and redo all of the testing that we've just done. Okay. 
Okay, so I've made it back up here into the TechFlow set and I've got the results piped into my iPad. So let's see what this Samsung Galaxy S10 did on Wi-Fi 6 versus the old Wi-Fi, AC and N. Let's see if it's actually any improvement. So if you take a look at this graph, this is essentially all of the different speeds at the different ranges and tests that we did versus Wi-Fi 6 and old legacy. The only test where the old legacy network managed to outdo the new Wi-Fi 6 was in the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi 6 test line of sight at 70 meters. The old Legacy N managed to outperform it by 6.7 megabits. But as you can see, at 70 meters, we got an extra 196 meg over on Wi-Fi 6. So we can happily say that on the 5 gigahertz band, range is definitely improved. However, the most pleasing news about this entire test is our Floor 1 5 gigahertz test, which is how most people are going to be using their wireless routers or routers at home, probably one floor or one room away from the router. And as you can see here, we got a staggering difference of 167.9 megabits per second. Now that is serious throughput. I mean, heck, I bet half of your home broadband connections aren't even 167 megabits. So just seeing that difference is really, well, it's kind of night and day. And then also the fact that on floor two, we managed to get a extra 71.9 megabits per second. And please bear in mind, we are in a really old school Georgian building right now with thick ass floorboards. So these tests, yeah, they're legit and they're going to hold some value in Wi-Fi 6 performance. I'm really, really Really impressed with this. Definitely shows that Wi-Fi 6 isn't just all marketing term and it actually has tech in it which is going to make your broadband or Wi-Fi, I must say, faster. But with that being said guys, that's been our unscientific test of Wi-Fi 6 and for now we need to thank our sponsor, Squarespace. As you guys know, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform for you guys to not only make a website but to sort out the domain and everything else that goes along with it to get you up and running. I always tell people that are starting out with websites, building the website isn't the hard bit, securing the domain is, and Squarespace saw all of that out for you. And the domain is something like www.techflow.co.uk. The reason why we actually use Squarespace here at Techflow for all of our websites is because they pretty much have everything. If you guys wanna have an e-commerce store, you can have that. If you guys wanna have appointment scheduling, you can have that. It's all built in to the online web builder. So if you guys wanna sign up, please use our link. It's squarespace.com forward slash. Techflow. Or you can just enter code TECHFLOW on checkout and what that'll do is it'll save you 10% off your first Squarespace purchase. Thanks Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Sweet then you lot, if you've got any more questions about Wi-Fi 6 or Wi-Fi in general or you want us to test anything, please put that down in the comment section down below or hit us up on TechFlow tweets or on our Instagram TechFlow pics. But for now, my name's been Alex, this has been TechFlow and we'll catch you in the next one. Adios.